Good morning. Welcome back to Lori's Life. Today I will be trying a new hair shine uh, spritzer with natural ingredients. I've been watching many um, videos using onion pails and most people say it's for hair growth. And I tried it once and noticed how shiny it, it made my hair. So most people use red onion. I'm going to try the yellow onion. I'm adding some bay leaf just because it's an astringent and will, uh, you know, keep it from getting any bacteria or anything. And just water. That's all. That's all you need. And I'll be putting it in here. I don't have any uh, cheesecloth to strain it, so I'll just do it manually. And then I'll show a before and after of my hair and see if there's a difference in if it's shinier. Okay, so here goes. I'm just adding the onion peels. I've been saving these for a while. I've just been doing other things. And throwing some bay leaf in there. And water. I'll make it put it on for a boil and let it simmer for simmer down for a while okay so this is boiling now and you can already see the color extracted from the peels uh, oh, some people use it to actually really color their hair and so many people say it's good for hair growth so because it has sulfur so I'll be covering it and letting it simmer and get back to you with the end results. Okay, this is ready to be put in here. I'm going to fill this and let it cool. See, the yellow onions have a, a more of a yellow tint. So, you know, that's... They say older women shouldn't really try yellow in their hair, but, you know, with the hair dye I used, it made, made it look orange. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm, oops, get out of there. <laughs> Alright, so let me fill this, and, um, look, let it cool. Alright, it's cool enough now to... Put in the spritzer bottle. And it's important that you make sure there's no little uh, specks of onion peels or anything because that'll clog the spritzer. I've done it before. That's why people strain it usually with a, um, a cheesecloth or something. So, we're going to do a before. I'm going to let it dry and then um, after. Okay. <clears throat> so, just a quick um, view of my hair that doesn't look shiny. You know, it's morning. I didn't um, do it, put any product in it yet. So, because this might stain, I'm just covering myself. Then I'll get dressed and let it, as it's drying, um, well, I'll come back and see if it really makes a difference. So, I'm just spritzing all around. Some women um, put it on their scalp, but today I'm just going for shine. So I guess some women even ingest it and it's not harmful. Um, I think a lot of Italian people, when they're making sauce and things, they just cut an onion without peeling it and just put the whole thing and take the peels out after. And I think people had great hair back in the day. 
So, all right, I'll be back after everything dries. So my hair is almost drying. I had to do the rest in the bathtub um, while stand in the shower because it did drip and I dripped some on the carpet. I had to wipe it off so it wouldn't stain. So I pretty much saturated my hair. And once it's dry, we'll see if it really is shinier.